Satan has his secret agents in the church. Many of Satan's people attend church, prophesy, teach, lead worship, preach, and look ever so religious and spiritual, dressed in church-appropriate clothing, and are in their 40s, 50s, and 60s or older, so you would never suspect that they could possibly be evil. Some of them pray in tongues, sometimes demonic tongues, act like they intercede in prayer for others, but will seek out to mentor people who have been emotionally hurt and broken in their lives as they are easy targets. They act like they are being touched by the Holy Spirit, yet instead are snapping their heads back and forth, up and down, cackling like witches because of the kundalini spirit. They lay their hands on people acting like they're praying for them, but are actually imparting demons to them, even acting like they are doing deliverance, but instead giving people more demons instead of delivering them. They have evil intentions in their heart and... They're set on trying to destroy God's anointed people through accusations, lies, and gossiping to as many who will listen to destroy their reputations and effectiveness in the church and their callings. So, they will accuse those who are actually godly and oppose them, calling them Jezebel, all the while they are the ones that are operating in that spirit. They especially accuse women who appear more attractive or beautiful as being Jezebel because that is who the religious church convinces everyone what a Jezebel looks like. Satan's secret agents know that and they'll often make themselves look more holy and plain by wearing little to no makeup or dressing in ways that look like a typical church lady from the 1950s. They're very hard to spot because they know all the Christian lingo and they're professional great actors and actresses when it comes to appearing godly, dressing like a church lady or a gentleman because image is everything to them. But the Lord sees through their false humility as their pride is great and knows that they are sexually impure, porn, lust, sex outside of marriage, etc., that they're selfish, they're mean, they have no fruit of the spirit, but lots of their flesh. They will act like an innocent victim if you dare try to expose that they are actually operating in evil. They try to stop couples that God is bringing together from getting married and will triangulate existing godly marriages to try to divide the spouses and turn them against each other so that they will divorce. They operate in the spirits of Jezebel and Leviathan with strong religious spirits, but try to appear godly and holy so that no one will detect uh, their prideful uh, heart posture. So what is a person to do? Sadly, many are being forced to leave the church in order to escape from the damage of their lies and gossip to others and getting them to hate on their victims. The godly people are also leaving the church in order to live a life congruent with the Bible, full of righteousness, because so many in the church leadership preach messages that are not true, saying that Christians cannot be affected by demons, that you can still sin like the world and God's grace will let you into heaven. It's like we are all living in a Hollywood movie of secret double agents where you aren't quite sure if the people who act like they are godly and your friend are actually plotting how to lie about you to as many as possible in order to destroy your reputation behind closed doors so that everyone thinks you are evil instead of good. They want to destroy you and stop what God is doing through you. The lines are blurring between those who appear to be godly but are actually your biggest enemy, living a life full of their flesh, trying to control and loving their sin. So how is a person to know who is good and who is bad? The best indicator is asking the Lord to show you. Sometimes the Lord will give you a dream. Sometimes he will speak to you in your thoughts, the truth of a person. Many who are church attenders who still have many wounds in their soul will side with those who are operating and spreading the lies and doing uh, all this evil because they have demons in common with them. Birds of a feather will flock together. Those with demons will team up against the godly people in order to drive them out from their church and stopping the true Holy Spirit from flowing. Many times those who are operating in evil and witchcraft in the church will have to leave churches every couple of years because they are discovered 
by the pastor and must start over in a new church to work their way up into leadership again. So it's important to understand that the enemy is real and the enemy is in the church. Uh, I have a book called Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons, Helping People to Change from the Flesh to Walking in the Fruit of the Spirit. That book is available on Amazon in paperback, Kindle, and Audible. You can also request a personal session of healing and deliverance. Go out to our website, restored2tofreedom.com, click on contact me and submit the form, or you can call 317-459-7091. Thanks.